This video is going to cover how to write a good conclusion paragraph. So, what is a conclusion paragraph? Well, it is the last paragraph in your essay. It completes your essay and it really re-emphasizes the thesis statement to your reader, as well as the main ideas that you covered in your body paragraphs. So let's take a look at first how we re-emphasize our thesis statement. When we re-emphasize our thesis statement, we do not copy it word for word. We make the same argument, but we use different words. So for example, if my thesis statement was, when I first found out that I was diagnosed with cancer, I took two important steps to fight the disease. I would re-emphasize it by maybe writing, ultimately because of the steps I took, I was successful in fighting the disease. I'm focusing on the main argument from my thesis and I'm not repeating it word for word. That's where we start in a conclusion, is with a re-emphasis or restatement of your thesis. So then what do you do? Well, in addition to referring back to your thesis, your main idea, you also need to remind your reader of the significance of your thesis, of the uh, important things that you discussed um, or that you addressed throughout your essay. So some of the ways that you can do this are how and why the topic is important. You could tell your reader that. You could tell your reader how the topic might affect you or other people, or you can tell your reader what can be learned from the topic. So let's look at some examples of how we might incorporate information like that in a conclusion. So our re-emphasize or restated thesis is ultimately because of the steps I took I was successful in fighting the disease. If I were to say I was able to become healthy enough to attend my daughter's wedding and I no longer worried about dying, others suffering with cancer can learn an important lesson from my experience. Don't give up no matter how hopeless things may seem and always get a second opinion from another doctor. So here we can see that the writer re-emphasizes and restates the thesis, points out the steps they took to fight the cancer, the things that they discussed in their body paragraphs, and then ended with talking about the importance of what they learned and what lesson the reader can learn. For this one, um, let's say our thesis was, there were several factors that caused my family to make the difficult decision to immigrate to the United States. So the first thing we do is re-emphasize or restate the thesis. So that is, the decision to move to the United States was a difficult one for my parents to make. Now, we're re-emphasizing, again, what our thesis said as well as what we covered in our body paragraphs. Though I was angry with their decision at the time, I understand now that the poor economy and political instability of my country forced them to immigrate. Lastly, we really conclude with a lesson that the writers can learn or that the readers can learn. Through this experience, I learned that one simply cannot control all of life's circumstances. One must learn to deal with tough situations as they come and work to be successful regardless of one's location. So other than restating your thesis, re kind of going through those main points from your body paragraph, connecting to the reader and talking about a lesson they can learn or a lesson you learn. You also have some other options that you could put to enhance your conclusion paragraph. You could add in a prediction, a recommendation, or a quotation. So let's take a look at a prediction. A prediction is where you talk about what might happen in the future. And for some topics, this is a really good way to finish your essay because it can make you really, really think about the possible results if they don't listen to what you said in your thesis statement. So for example, if my thesis is a program to reforest parts of Haiti is urgently needed, my conclusion with the prediction could read like this. Finally, the importance of beginning a program to reforest parts of Haiti will be an important step in making this country more economically self-sufficient. Without such a program in place, the people of this country will continue to destroy their natural resources for fuel in order to salvage their present state of survival. So here you can see we have restated the thesis and then we've given a prediction about what will happen if you don't follow the argument or idea in that thesis statement. 
Now we can talk about a recommendation. You can also choose to write a recommendation in your conclusion. So if your topic is discussing a problem, you might offer a recommendation or a solution um, that the readers can follow or something that the readers can do to help solve the problem that you discussed in your essay. So for example, as we have seen, international students face a number of difficulties when coming to a new country to study. However, problems such as culture shock and the language barrier can be lessened before a student comes to the new country through preparation. If you are considering going to school in another country, you should begin learning about the culture, customs, and history of your host nation. Also, you should be sure that you are proficient in the national language or be sure to sign up for the language classes once you are there. So this is a great example of um, making a recommendation or asking your reader to do something, a call to action um, in a conclusion. Lastly, you can choose to use a relevant quotation to bring good closure to your essay, um, particularly if that quotation is from an expert on the topic that your um, composition or written piece is about. So for example, it could look like this. David Werner, the author of Where There Is No Doctor, notes that only when people themselves become actively responsible for their own and their community's health can important changes take place. This should be the mantra of every public health agency when looking at making improvements in common health problems. Unless a community understands the importance of the intervention and takes responsibility for transformation, no long-lasting changes will be made. So here we can see they started off with a quotation from an expert. And I want you to know that the only time you really should use a quotation in your conclusion is if it's by an expert on your topic and you cannot find a better way to communicate what that quote says yourself. So when you write a conclusion, don't forget to use those helpful transitions. In conclusion, in summary, thus, therefore, to conclude, in short, if you put that transitional phrase at the beginning of your sentence, don't forget to put a comma after it and make sure that you use these so that your writing flows and your, eye, your readers can connect your ideas as you want them to. All right, that is how you write a good conclusion. Make sure you end with a bang. Your goal is to make the last words that your reader reads thought-provoking so that they continue to think about your topic, your words, and your essay.